All right, here we are, a little echo there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, we are here to introduce to you today the U.S. Amateur Tour that we have now signed up for and will be participating for the next 16 months. And we've played two events, and I wanted to give you all an update. So we have a new season starting June 1st of 2020, new venues, new courses, so let's go. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's do it. All right, let's take a look here. Here we go. All right, welcome, first of all, to everybody at On The Screws Golf. Thank you so much. If you are not currently a member and you believe that some of this content, not only Golf Clash content, but U.S. Amateur Tour event content is for you, please consider subscribing, hitting the notification bell, and hitting a like button at the end of the video. So with that being said, thank you all very much for that. Event number one was currently at Williams Country Club in Weirton, West Virginia. That was three weeks ago. And then event two was just this past weekend at Reserve Run Golf Course, which was right around the corner from me, about five minutes, in Poland, Ohio. And as always... You know what we have? We have American Honey Sting and American Honey. So here we go. This video is sponsored by American Honey Sting. It tastes great, goes down smooth with a kick. So there we go. We always love putting that out there. And uh, it's absolutely one of the greatest cocktails available on the market all right so with that being said let's get right into the overview of what is the us am tour okay so right now we're on the home page here as you can see and uh we're looking at um let's just start up in the top left you have about us memberships how to join all the different tournaments local tours order of merit and you can contact them okay so let's just go this is the u.s tour homepage right here and uh you can see that it says on the right hand side becoming a founding member of the usam tour nationwide series of amateur golf tournaments open to anyone that wishes to play in local regional and or national events against players of similar skill level in gross scoring flighted competitions so what that means is if you're a 30 handicap, you're going to play only against anybody between 30 and 35 handicap. All right. You're going to go out there. You're going to play USGA rules and regulations, put everything out. You can't roll the ball. I mean, unless, of course, it's, you know, weather related or there's hazards, etc. You are going to be bound by the USG rules of golf. They have marshals out there. They have spectators and they have a full field of competitors and it's all about fun, having fun, but at the same time, challenging yourself to a test of golf where you've never thought that you could perform at a high level. If you want to improve your game, the best thing to do is sign up for this tour and start playing. I promise you, you'll see where your weaknesses are. You'll see where you need to improve. And if you choose to take on the challenge, you will go out to the range or to the practice facility, start trying to improve in those areas so that you can get better and better each time out. So that's a little plug for how to practice and how to get better. And the only way you're gonna do that is not by playing with your buddies, drinking beer, riding around in a cart. It's going to be going out in a competitive environment, find out where your, your gifts are, but also where your gaps are, and then get it back onto the course after you've practiced those gap areas and uh, show some improvement Ye uh, week after week, year after year, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. They have an app which fits on your phone, iPhone and or Android. Find a register for tournaments, view tournaments and leaderboards, view, uh, view the course tours and yardage books. 
check into your local tournaments. You can get all the local rules and the whole locations, GPS distances, see the uh, latest player of the year standings, check out the season long player stats, find courses, scorecards, contact information, of course, read the latest amateur golf app news. Okay, let's go to local tours. Right now, there are, as you'll be able to see here, 50 different tours, one per state plus Puerto Rico, okay? Um, they're highlighted, the ones I believe that are currently active. Of the 50, there are 17 that are currently active. So maybe some of you are watching and say, well, which ones are active? Hank, let us know. So Alabama, Washington, D.C., the Gulf Coast of Florida, Orlando, Florida, Tampa, Sarasota, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia, Indianapolis, Indiana, New England, Massachusetts, Baltimore, Maryland, Detroit, Michigan, St. Louis, Missouri, New Jersey, Long Island, New York, Hudson Valley, New York, Cleveland, Ohio, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and that is the last one that's available. So you can see that if you click on the schedule, you'll see all the different courses and schedules that are available. Let me go back here real quickly. If you click on, where were we? We were at Pittsburgh. Order of Merit, you can see all the different people that are ranked in the different categories. Like this is the Pittsburgh. So <clears throat> for the championship handicap group, 3.9 or less, you can see Danny's number one. He's played two events, 150 points, and Zach is behind him. It uh, in second place at 70 points. And you can see all the different groups and all the different categories that um, are available for these different um, divisions and uh, tours, local tours. All right. Let's go about, about us. Here's the tour. Um, USAM Tours Nationwide Series. We talked about that. The mission is simple to provide an unrivaled immersive and comprehensive tour and tournament experience for competitive amateur golfers of all abilities and ages. All events utilize gross scoring as players compete in different flights only against players of the similar ability from our championship flight, 3.9 handicap or less to our tiger flight, which is 20 handicaps or above and every flight in between we've got you covered. The US Am Tour operates single round, multiple round golf tournaments across the country at the best public and private venues. Tour players enjoy camaraderie and complete and compete, excuse me, for bragging rights. Order of merit points, prizing, trophies of each event all season long. Uh, points accumulate and the best players from each local tour earn their way to the national championship. So it was founded on June 1st, 2020. As you can see, contact them at USAM Tour Support. Here's their email as well as social media sites. Um, who are we? Right there, USAM Tour again, the mission. Um, that was just uh, what we discussed. Here's the player handbook. Talk about the, uh, the mission, founding memberships, tour and tournament formats, Here's the competition in the tours. You can see that there's handicaps of anywhere from 3.9 or less, 20 and above. This is what they're actually called. And here are the actual handicap ranges, okay? Uh, new players are initially flighted based upon their most current USGA handicap. If you do not have a handicap, the player will be, uh, the player will be flighted based upon correspondence with tournament director, not the strict measures um, will be in place for protection integrity of the flight. There's senior flights versus just regular flighting, tournament registrations, cancellation, no shows, tournament prizes. So you can see if uh, like last um, this past tournament, there were 10 individuals in my flight. I came in first and there are three play payouts, first, second, and third. All the max um, prize pool for 10 players was $200. So I won $100 of that 200, and then I think it went 70, 30, or 60, 40, something like that. So um, top three get paid there, all the way down through 13 players in a flight, 14, 
15, 16, 17, you start paying four players. 18 through 21 plays five. 22 through 25 plays six places. And then 26 and above plays pays seven places. Okay. Uh, membership. You can member, you can join. It's $99 currently for 16 months. So now we're down to 15 months because we started this June 1st. So it's going to go June all the way through, I think, December of next year. Okay. And that's all for $99. Um, tournaments. Let's click on that. You can see here's all the different um, tournaments that have been played already. Um, wow. Um, how many have played? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 tournaments have been played the very first month of uh, this um, annual U.S. tour uh amateur tour event and this has been all over the country you can see alabama the deep south which is alabama florida new york michigan uh, massachusetts west virginia um, new york georgia virginia alabama florida new york north carolina nevada florida tennessee georgia michigan california pa virginia north carolina alabama Pennsylvania, Michigan, South Carolina, Florida. So you can see that there is a robust field of tournaments that are being played around the country currently as we speak. Um, local tours, we talked about this already. Here it is. Order of merit, meaning that where do we stand um, as you play these different tournaments? So let's go ahead and find our group which is pittsburgh we're playing out of the pittsburgh group okay and you can see in the leaderboards um there i am i finished first i was uh plus one uh on the day um second place was plus five tied for you know second was two three and four i'll put plus five then plus six and then we can go through that after um a bit here but um that was um just the profile showing you um let's go ahead and do tournaments real quick for pittsburgh here we go so here's here's where we started um we finished this one last weekend and then july 12th and 19th you have two back-to-back -back coming up on the weekends madison club and boulder creek so let's take a look at here okay so leaderboard uh, on this course, it was plus six was the winner, plus nine, plus nine, plus ten, and then tied for fifth and six, I was at plus eleven. Um, interesting, in the inaugural uh, event on Sunday the 14th at the Country Club, I shot plus eleven. I come back this past week at a local course, which is uh, public, and I shoot plus one. So that's the difference between one event over another. So, uh, pretty uh inconsistent i guess is what i'm trying to say so here's what williams country club looked like here was the scorecard um you can see you know 70 par 72 6600 yards from where we played from 72.5 rating slope of 133 um i don't know i'm sure if i go to my player stats right um We might be able to see where we are. Okay. Reserve one, I finished first. Williams sixth, one first place, a top two top tens, two top twenty fives, obviously, because we only played two events. Um first and a top ten. I have two hundred and twenty points, and I earned hundred and fifty points from this past weekend being in first, seventy points in the inaugural Williams. I'm in the Hogan eight to eleven. That probably will be changing to a three and below if I'm going to shoot 71. And uh, let's take a look here real quick. Low round of 71. I'm My ranking right now uh, for par breakers 
is two birdies or better, 36 holes played. I'm tied for first. For par three par breakers, one birdie or better, nine holes, I am tied for first. Par five breakers, I'm second. Total birdies, I'm in first. Holes per birdie, tied for first. Birdies per round, tied for first. So scoring average in all rounds, I'm ranked one. First round and final round, I'm ranked one. You can see my ranks for the front nine, the back nine, and overall scoring average by par. I am in the ranked first position. Um, and that, again, is in the Hogan 8.0 to 11.9 um, division. So here are the standings after two events. I'm in first at 220 points. Anthony Mueller from Pittsburgh's is second place at 110. Then we have uh, my buddy Will. He's in 95th. Keith is in 30, uh, 35 points. And then Jonathan has 30 points. And that is what we call the order of merit for the Pittsburgh region in our Hogan 8 to 11 bracket. All right. So right now, sitting in first comfortably by uh, double the points versus Anthony Mueller. Um, let's take a look at Anthony real quickly here. He shot 90 and 81. So um, 50 and 60 points respectively. Finished eighth in uh, the Williams Country Club and then seventh in reserve run. So um, improvement there, improvement for myself as well. Uh, what else do we have here? I uh, wanted to take a look at my actual scorecard if I can. Leaderboard, Hogan Flight, more stats, view hole. Let's go here. There it is. There's the scorecard. Boom. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so the first event of the year, we were a little bit nervous. Um, pretty much hooked the first one down into the trees, hit this amazing five iron that clipped a limb, dead solid, and fell straight down, hit it on the green, two putted for a five for a bogey. Second hole blocked it way right into the other fairway, chipped it short, chipped it on, two putted for a five, and I was happy with that. Then we made a par, par, par. Then we made a uh, bogey, par, bogey, par. So four over, 40, nothing great, nothing too bad, um, just a very average round. Then the back nine hits. So on number 10, hit this beautiful drive, hit it on the green, two putts, no problem. And then I block it right into the trees, have to take a five. Hit it just pin high, but on the top of a hill where I have to chip down and we missed the putt coming back because we were about four feet past and I just pulled it, missed it to the left. So that's a bogey. Made a really boneheaded mistake on 13 here. I hit it to two and a half feet for a birdie and I stopped my, my I decelerated on the putt and it, it actually just trickled to the right and I lipped out and I missed the birdie from two feet and made a par. It was just... And then that just really got in my head. I made a bogey on a par five. You could see I bogeyed out. One, two, three, four, five, back to back to back to back to back bogeys to shoot 43 on the back nine. 40, 43, 83 finished sixth. So not a really good um, start to the year. Um, so then what we did, we want to get out of that. And we want to go to reserve run here. Hank Morris card. Here we go. All right. So on this one, uh, finished first, scored plus one, stroke 71. The course obviously is a 70 par. 35-35, we played from the black, so the very back. So they stretched it out as far as they could, 60-some hundred yards. Um, par number one, two, and three. And then I had a string of bogey, bogey, bogey because I just got in my head that I just made silly mistakes and I just dwelled on it for three holes. And then I said, okay, get out of that. Then I hit a good tee shot on seven, hit a really great second shot in there, just missed a birdie. And then on eight, I hit a really bad tee shot to the right over water. But luckily, we hit it safe onto the the green, not green, but the um, the bailout area, so to speak. Chipped it up to about two feet, made the putt, which was great. 
Uh, Pard nine, hold number 10, hit a really great drive. Hit an amazing second shot in there from about 240 with a three wood to about 10 feet. Just missed it on the left edge uh, for eagle. Made birdie. Then we made par, 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 par. And then came up to 17 um, and hit a six iron to about 10 feet up the hill, straight up the hill, and made that. And then uh, hole number four, or excuse me, 18, made a par, nice routine par, hit a good drive, hit it on the green, two-putted, and shot two under, 33 on the back. So 38, three over on the front, 33, two under on the back for a total of 71. So um, really happy about um, that so far. So if you take a look at the summary, um, par threes, you can see, you know, we played them even one bogey, one birdie, par fours. You can see that um, we played uh, pretty solid there on the par fours, straight even. And then on the par fives, um, had uh, one bogey, all right? So one bogey, one birdie, so it was even, sorry. So even on the uh, par fours, even on the par fives, and one over on the par threes. So you can see that this is such a great website that it gives you all of these different highlights in the leaderboard. You can see that I'm two back, two two under on the back nine, two birdies and eagles with somebody else. And it gives you a little visibility of the different holes in the pictures and you know, most, most par breakers, um, et cetera, goes over the course um, so that you can see what you're going to be playing or what you did play. You can see here that was 5,900, but uh, they, that was the, from the up blue tees. We moved it all the way to the blacks and back. Um, so you can see it was like 6,100 yards. So it was still a short course, but we still played very well. You got to hit the ball straight. You got tee times, highlights, leaderboards, and all the info you need. So that's what... Um, that's what we have to offer. I wanted to go over that with you today and show you that uh, currently in our bracket, 8 to 11.9, something like that. First place after two events, Williams Country Club 83, Reserve Run uh, Golf Course 71, and uh, looking forward to the upcoming July 12th Pittsburgh event. See if we can get down there and play... Um, consistently well get in the 70s again or low 80s and then uh, take some more points add them to the tally stay in first place and uh, then we'll get ready for Boulder Creek after that so I want to be one of the first to wish all of you a very happy 4th of July weekend coming up be safe don't play with fireworks if you are going to play with fireworks let somebody else do it you buy them you let somebody else you know light them off but as long as they're not drinking, they don't have any alcohol in them, and they know what they're doing and they've read the packaging, okay? Too many people make mistakes. Too many people get injured. Not worth it. Um, we need you to be able to play Golf Clash competitively, right, um, each and every week. I want to wish everybody also this upcoming Monday, the Redwood Tournament, best of luck to you on that as well. And uh, until then... We will all be um, enjoying the weekend, food, friends, family, maybe some alcohol, who knows. Um, but until then, we will uh, wish you all the best um, today, Thursday, tomorrow, Friday, and then obviously over the weekend. And then we'll be ready to go on Monday for the Redwood Tournament. So till then, please consider subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, hit the like button. Thank you so much. Adios. Have a great day.